If I didn't have you, life would be blue. I'd be Doctor Who without the TARDIS. Is it me or does she not look so good? Shh. A candle without a wick, a Watson without a crick. I'd be one of my outfits without a dickie. I'd be cheese without the Mac, jobs without the Wozniak. I'd be solving exponential equations that use basis not found on your calculator, making it much harder to crack. I'd be an atom without a bomb, a dot without the com, and I'd probably still live with my mom. And he'd probably still live with his mom. Ever since I met you, you turned my world around. You supported all my dreams and all my hopes. You're like uranium-235 and I'm uranium-238. Almost inseparable isotopes. I couldn't have imagined how good my life would get from the moment that I met you, Bernadette. If I didn't have you, life would be dreary. I'd be string theory without any string. I'd be binary code without a one, a cathode ray two without an electron gun. I'd be Firefly Buffy and Avengers without Joss Whedon. I'd speak a lot more Klingon, Kalak Necht Cock Judge Vaughn. And he'd definitely still live with his mom. Ever since I met you, you turned my world around. You're my best friend and my lover. We're like changing electric and magnetic fields. You can't have one without the other. I couldn't have imagined how good my life would get from the moment that I met you, Bernadette. track of Hashem, which is the problem here. I, too, have forgotten how to see him in the world, and when that happens, you think, well, if I can't see him, he isn't there. He's gone. But that's not the case. You just need to remember how to see him. Am I right? I mean, the parking lot here. Not much to see. But if you imagine yourself a visitor, somebody who isn't familiar with these autos and such, somebody still with the capacity for wonder, someone with a fresh perspective. That's what it is, Larry. I... Because with the right perspective, you can see Hashem, you know, reaching into the world. He is in the world, not just in shul. It sounds to me like you're looking at the world, looking at your wife through tired eyes. It sounds like she's become a sort of thing, a problem, a thing. She is seeing Cy Abelman. Oh. They're planning, that's why they want the get. Oh, um, sorry. It was his idea. Well, they do need a get to remarry in the faith. But this is life. You have to see these things as expressions of God's will. You don't have to like it, of course. The boss isn't always right, but he's always the boss. <laughs> That's right. Things aren't so bad. Look at the parking lot, Larry. Just look at that parking lot. But we can just get past this. I mean... We're still gonna get married. I don't wanna talk about it right now. But you're not considering not marrying me, are you? I don't wanna talk about it. But I, I made a mistake. I was just trying to be honest with you for us, not for me. I swear. I've been dreaming about how I was going to propose to my girlfriend since third grade. 
And this was not what it looked like. Fuck. Oh, fuck. I ruined it. No, I fucked this up. You're the love of my life. I fucked this up. I ruined your moment, too. Please. Say yes. Call people. Enjoy this. I'll do anything. Here, just come back outside. I'll propose again. Please. Just, just switch your brain off. It's willpower. Please. I'm sorry. Please say yes. Say yes, please. Please say yes. Hey, okay. 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 The plan was to propose when you got back. And if you said yes, I was gonna pull the string. I didn't have time to test it. It's filled with rose petals, but I guess I rigged it wrong. Wow, it's a good thing that you didn't propose to me here. It would have been a total disaster. You want to try again? Cosme McMoon? That's me, sir. Come. What should I play? Well, I really don't mind, as long as it's not too loud. Is he playing? Some sassos bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, when I was when I was uh, sixteen years old, my father uh, told me that if I didn't give up music and marry a dull banker, he'd cut me off. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> Sorry, so continue, Mr. McMoon. Uh -huh. Of course, he didn't understand musicians. We'd rather go without bread than Mozart, wouldn't we? It's not even a choice for us. Of course. He did cut me off, but uh, I got myself a little apartment in Philly, and I made a living teaching piano to children. And we'd play the swan, and that was my favorite. Wow. Great story. <laughs> yeah, it is, isn't it? Of course, he came round eventually, and then I was back in the will. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I must say, I think you're absolutely ideal. <laughs> Did I mention that I also compose? And he also composes. Yes, I'm sure he does. Well, you know, there are some other candidates to hear about. Hmm? Oh, oh, do you know any of them? I do. They're all rather uh, heavy-handed, I'm afraid. Son of a bitch. Madame Florence regrets that she's unable to hear any more candidates today. It's unbelievable. Now, now, I trained at Juilliard. I am so very sorry. And why? You're not her type. 
Now, I must warn you. I work very hard. I study an hour every day, sometimes two. And my father didn't leave me as much money as everybody thinks, so I couldn't pay you more than 150. A month? <laughs> A week. I'm not destitute. <laughs> fast-changing world. And I am now the conductor of the city's finest orchestra. No longer the self-deprecating accompanist from such a short while ago. Anne would be proud of me. I do have my suspicions, though, about why she isn't alive. And doubts, too, about something else, but... Excuse me a minute. to his place tomorrow to discuss a matter that he says concerns Annette and Anne. As awkward as it is for me to attend, anything that concerns Anne and the future of Annette is something that concerns me. Excuse me one more time. my regret that our affair was only an affair I had been hoping for so long and at a time when she was in despair we started an affair but the very next week she met Henry that was the end of it the end of me I'll always regret that I deeply miss her her warmth her voice I miss Anne excuse me My job is an hour away from here. It makes no sense for me to live at home anymore. Come on. Oh, don't come on with me, kid. I worked my ass off so you can live here rent free. Dad. What? Calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. I'm fucking calm, Abby. You want things to this be like calm. they were when you were my age. Yeah. And it's just not like that anymore. Well, when I was your age, if I would have told my father I want to live on my own, but he should keep paying my rent, he would have smacked me so hard I'd lost all the teeth in my head, and I would have deserved it, kid. Karen and I are getting Karen. Karen. Who is Karen? Who's Who's My Karen? Girlfriend. Is she behind the whole moving thing? What? You know, you think that we don't get what's going on, Nate. We do. We know you want to live in some bachelor pleasure <laughs> den. Oh, oh, Ma, stop. Oh, oh. Shut up, Abby. You think I want to move out so I can have sex with yeah. Karen? Well, newsflash, we already have. What? Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Everyone. I has Hell sex. You're the only people who refuse to acknowledge that because you're so out of touch with reality. It's like you're living in the dark ages. Do not yell at your mother. I'm I am mad. so sick of your authoritarian bullshit, I'm Dad. warning you. Nathan, your father Stop. is busted. Stop. Stop. Stop defending him. You gave up your life to be his servant, and I am tired of shutting up about the fact that you love the end more than you love us. Stop. 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 Where you Please. Going? Where are you going? Oh. Get out of here. Talking to your mother like that. Get out. Get out of here. Get out of here. You're not so smart, here. Nathan. Oh, you you're, don't you're know punching, any. Huh? Get out of here. Get the hell out. Where are you going? Uh, oh, you're not going there. We're going to have dinner. <sighs> OK. So what should we talk about? Abby, have a nice day today.
So, what does a tattoo on your neck say? Wendy Witty Wiki. I came, I saw, I come. Is it Wiki or Vicky? Wiki. It's Latin, so soft beats. Huh. You got tattoos? Me? No. Unless you count thug life sprawled across my chest. But that's henna, so. <laughs>